All right, everyone, to start off activity 311, I'm gonna go ahead and start to look at verifying some of my motor outputs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the little plastic, magnetic plastic cover. So I'm gonna go make sure that that's set nearby. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the power button until I see the VEX screen come on. Your servo motor may respond a little bit as it sits back to its home position. And from here, in order to see what that's doing, I'm gonna go ahead and touch on devices and I can see what kind of ports that I have plugged in. Now, in all these ports we have, you notice it goes all the way down to 21. So these are all the smart ports that we have, 20 on the top and 21 is here actually on the front. So for the three wire devices, they're, they're all gonna be plugged in here with the each one of these that's labeled with a letter. So if I wanna see any of those, I can always tap on that has a little triangle symbol with like a star or an asterisk, this will have all of our three wire ports where I can go through and do that. We'll look at those here in a moment, but I'm going to press the back arrow, which is the same thing as the power button to bring me back to the previous screen. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to verify, so motor port number one. So motor port one, as I go through and take a look at that, is actually this motor right here as it's plugged into the port. So I'm gonna verify one, do I have the right port that's being recognized and am I also getting output from it as I should expect. So right now it says for me to go through and to run the motor, I can tap this right blue arrow one time. And so as I do that, that's one time, you can see this motor is starting to turn here and I can go through and record some of the observations. So I usually like to go through and have my students you know, look at, well, what is the velocity when they type that in? So it's kind of fluctuating between about 14 to 16 RPMs, and I usually go through and have them record that. So, and if you're a student watching this video, that's one of the things that you need to record on your assignment. So as you take a look, it says we want to press the blue arrow until the motor's running between 130 and 140 RPM. So either I can go through and keep pressing it, and I can watch the velocity in revolutions per minute increase, or I can kind of hold it down until I kind of get close to that level. And I need to back it off just a little bit. And this will go through and give me an idea as to what I go through and have. So when I go through and start to look at, you know, what is my percent velocity, so I can see that level of power there, it gives me how much power, the wattage, and also gives me how much torque that this motor is generating as I go through and I take a look at that. So I can also see the percentage here. I'm getting pretty close to about 75%. I can see it on this graph as well. So this goes through, kind of gives me an idea of what I have to work with. Now, in order to stop the motor, I'm gonna press the white square and I'm gonna be able to see what my revolutions were, what were the amount of degrees that it turned, and what's my velocity. Now, if I wanna go through and reset this after I've gone through and run it for a certain amount of time, I can type, tap one of the values and it will reset all those back to zero. So to be ready for that. So again, I can do the same thing with port number 10. Just to verify, I know sometimes we have some issues where um, motors will not be, and it could be a variety of wiring, could be it. You could have a problem with a motor. You could have a problem with a port on the robot brain. So this allows us to verify to see one, are we getting output from the various devices that we're plugging into our brain. So here, I'm able to go through and see that. So, and be able to monitor some of the output that we're getting from the motor. So, with this, I can go ahead and stop the motor. Again, tapping any one of the values, I'm able to go through and reset. And with that, this will finish up this video on how to uh, look for and debug some of the values in your motors.